Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Wreckside Jungle. Uh, and today we are against a Fiddlesticks, which will be interesting because... Obviously, in the recent patch, they have just nerfed Rek'Sai. So if you didn't know, they've just reduced his AD, I think, by his base AD by 3. Uh, which means that his first clear will pretty much be an extra auto attack pretty much per monster he's trying to kill, right? So slow or uh, very slow. It's fine uh, for us because we tend to do a three camp clear, uh, which, well, hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate in this video. Uh, can't quite remember what I did. Um, but also, Fiddlesticks has been an S tier jungler for probably about half a season now. Um, very fun, uh, very, very good champ. Um, I've loved him since the rework. Um, to be honest, just they really, really got that horror aspect of Fiddlesticks. But anyway, this is a Rek'Sai video. Uh, so in top lane, we've got the uh, Yorick into, uh, not an Ezreal, excuse me, into a Kale. There we go. Um, in the mid lane, we have an AP Twitch, interesting on our side, um, into the Azir. Uh, and then we've got an MF and a Nami in bot lane. Thank you very much for the leash, by the way. Um, against an Ezreal and a Thresh as well. So I think what we'll do is we... We'll play it by ear. Going up and getting this Kale could be a really good idea for us. So we've got the red. We smited it because the leash wasn't amazing. Um, and it was it was about 4.50. So I was just like, okay, let's just move on to the next one. Here we'll just clear our Krugs. Um, high XP. We can clear Krugs fairly quickly. Probably faster actually in Season 13 because they got rid of medium Krugs. Uh, move up. We'll probably do Raptors really quickly. Get our level 3. And then what what we should be doing here as Rek'Sai is looking around to see what is gankable at the moment. Uh, I don't really... The bot lane is definitely a potential. So is the mid lane apart from they're quite pushed up. The Kale here is getting a bit big for our boots. I want to go for this Kale. I think I think that she's just come off a really good Kale game. Um, which means that she thinks currently she's stronger than she is. Um, Twitch going in for the Azir. There is definitely good potential for us to come back on this. What we might do here is we might do... Oh, hang on. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay, we were, we potentially could have helped that, um, but they do get a kill on each other here. We'll, so we will go for the Kale, uh, just really shut down the Kale. This this is what we want to do as Rek'Sai, right? You choose your lane and you just hyper camp it, right? Get your kill, get your fed, and then you can get your lane as fed. So there, the Yorick seemed to know, exa know exactly what I wanted to do. Um, as a Yorick, he's not particularly interested in kills. He's more interested in towers, right? So he would give the, give the um, kill over to me, which is very kind of him. Um, accelerate us towards our first power spike, which is just a serrated Dirk, right? 1,100 gold. You want to back, get the serrated Dirk, um, uh, and then your your burst potential, funnily enough, is just ridiculous from there. You get the knock-up, you get the three auto attacks, um, and the empowered E. Well, right, here's the combo, really. So, whilst you're underground, you, you, you tunnel in, you knock, you hit Q, um, Ideally, hit Q, knock up, get a free auto attack in there before you activate your Q. Q three times and then E, right? So once your rage is full, you, you press the E for the true damage. That's your ideal combo. And with this rate of Dirk, that can one-shot people. Like this Kale, is, you'll see, is going to have such a shit time this game. Excuse my language. Um, but here, we can see the Azir is going in for this. Um, and we, we were ready for it. We were over here coming for it. Um, uh, but the Twitch manages to pull ahead, which is really nice, you know. Been nice for us to get an assist, but if our solo laners are winning on their own, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, the ping that you saw there was actually the Fiddlesticks effigy, so don't get fooled by that. I, I, that, I did get fooled by that. I was waiting to see if the Fiddlesticks was actually there coming back into it, but we can actually see that he's in bot side river now, um, just popping at ward. And we can also see that he's got that bottom side crab, so we don't need to worry about that. And we'll start off our macro tunnels here. And move back onto the map. So here, yep, you back when you've got enough for the Ulcerator Dirk. Uh, we've also picked up a couple of control wards here. Very handy on Rek'Sai if you're not used to toggling the W. Uh, we can see that the Fiddlesticks is invading. Um, well, he thinks he's going to get this Twitch. He cannot get this Twitch. So here we knock up, we get a ridiculous amount of damage off. Here the, the Azir goes in as well, thinking, oh, okay, let's get that free kill. Did, doesn't even get that. The um, Twitch manages to get his E just in time. He also managed to get level 6 there, which is really handy. And, you know, we're happy with that. We got an extra kill, we got an extra assist. And we got their jungler as well. Perfect. 
sitting 2-0-1 and one at the moment. Um, slightly less farm than the Fiddlesticks is what we expect. We're more of a ganking jungler rather than the Fiddlesticks. He's more of a farming jungler until level 6 and then he'll just repeat gank when his ult's up. Um, runes wise this game so we've seen this oh actually let's let, we'll we'll talk about that a little uh, in a little bit we've seen these guys pushed up here and we're going to go for a unique gank angle right so here we come in right from behind their turret they haven't seen us yet they've seen us now he flashes into us we get the knock up he gets the heal the mf gets the q uh into the kill here the we we flash for it we get the knock up unfortunately the flay does come out we do survive um we don't quite get the kill um so that was more like a limit test like we and you'll see that these games aren't quite as good as our, my Echo games at the moment because obviously we've spent 34 games trying to master Echo. Um, um, I, you know, we're, we're coming out of these games pretty good with Echo at the moment. We're trying to find the best way to play Rek'Sai at the moment. We're still learning, right? The whole point of this channel is to, is to, is for me to learn and to show you guys so that you can be ahead of the game uh, when you go on to try and learn Rek'Sai as well. Um, so here we set our bottom. Uh, tunnel out. Uh, we pick up that Collarfield's Warhammer. We queue the red buff before we jump over because jumping over will pop us out of the ground. Our borrowed form. Uh, borrowed. Borrowed. That makes more sense. Uh, and we'll just get our red buff here. Red buff's quite important uh, on Rek'Sai side because you can. Those slowing auto attacks are, are really helpful. And we drop our first control ward just to make sure that the fiddlesticks won't be doing dragon. And here. I think he's a little bit far up. He's used his E now, so he doesn't have any movement abilities. Uh, I'm pretty sure his flash is down from the previous fight. And here, you know, perfect. So what we like, 3-0-2. Um, the Twitch was pretty low there. I think if if the Azir had hit ultimate, I don't think he's quite level 6 yet. Yeah, if he had hit ultimate, the um, if he had hit level 6 in that fight, he'd definitely be dead, right? The Twitch would be dead. So here, I'm pretty sure that there's a ward here. So what I'll do is I'll come around and camp this way. Um, told Yorick to push the lane in, get some poke off. Perfect. Uh, and then move back. I've told him not to back here. I've told him to, to play up pretty far so that the Kale will then push out here. And then there's just nothing we can do. And you can see we wait. We're very patient here. We make sure that she pushes out until she's past this rock, really. So that even if she does have flash, which I know she doesn't because we got out of her earlier. Yeah, the Yorix. Okay, here we go. Yep, tunnel in. We get the knock up. And just, there we go. Execute with the E. So, patient there. Um, patience is key, right? But it's also a double-edged shot. Because if we had waited there for ages and Kale had stayed back here, maybe backed, um, then we'll just be wasting our time, right? So, what we do in that situation is we wait to see what the Kale's doing. I knew that from her body language, it looked like she was going to keep pushing forward. You know, she's been killed twice. Well, she once at that point, And she's feeling like she desperately needs to get back into this game. So she's going to stay, pick up the farm. You could tell that from her body language, which meant that I knew that she was going to step up rather than backing and hiding behind tower and waiting for the orb to push in, which meant that I could wait there and get the kill. Wonderful. And that gives us a bounty. And what we'll do there is move straight for the Herald. See if we can end this game early. Um, runes. I mentioned it ages ago. I didn't quite finish my sentence though. Uh, so we've got uh, Conqueror, Triumph, uh, Legend of Alacrity for a little bit of attack speed. Coup de Gras um, for that extra burst. And then we've got Eyeball Collection and Treasure Hunter. Along with attack damage, attack damage and health. Um, really standard set of rune pages. Um, there are a couple of other options i've mentioned them in previous videos um but i do want to try out a hail of blades um build potentially with a mana mune i know he doesn't he's not a mana champion and that might really actually yeah i'm thinking about that now yeah i forget i said that um but hail of blades uh used to be really good on yorick i think hail of blades a while ago a couple seasons ago now got quite heavily nerfed and since then hasn't really been used on anything but i do think that Yorick's, not Yorick, uh, Rek'Sai's burst potential on that would be nuts. So if you think about it, if you go in, you knock up, you get three quick auto attacks off, then you activate your Q. It's just insane amount of damage, right? I, I, I think that could be good. I, I think that we should test that. You see there, I'm, I'm getting used to those macro tunnels. Um, it doesn't. It's a bit janky, actually, when you come out. You have to... 
you have to click it after you come out of the tunnel but I'll, i will be getting used to that more and more throughout this game and you know we've still got i mean after this game we've got um 97 games to go 96 games to go there we go so here i want to see if i can get this bot lane again I, i'm going to see if they push out a little bit more get this scuttle we'll go back around here again i reckon and see if i can no okay they are now under tower um i don't really want to dive it i don't really trust this bot lane to dive with me so what i'll do is i will start the dragon um we can see the fiddlesticks is here very low mana he did just use his ult we did see that uh i don't think we quite see that tp um but obviously we do because it's a replay file fairly certain that we've got this they knew we were doing it so they must have had an F uh, a, a ward there or something um i tunnel in uh, regret my decisions um almost die luckily my bot lane do follow up it really helped me out there uh, and i just i just retreat we don't want to fight that anymore um bot lane are potentially about to get collapsed on okay that's a good e disengage but we'll move back to chickens you know we're, we're getting some value here uh, whereas the fiddle six is just trying to poke tunnel get some health back um move down to the krugs and then get our red buff essentially look for a back on that we do have our prowler's claw now key key item on rexai uh just a really good way of landing his stun bot lane are super pushed in here um i think that we will probably try and look for this yep we are on our way yeah <laughs> if not a bit delayed uh and here is also a really good um Okay, they have seen me. I must be on a ward. Yeah, so we can see that they backed out straight away. We drop our control ward just to confirm that. Oh, so that will now give vision for about five seconds. So what I do is I move over here for a little bit, and then I move straight back. And they assume I've gone, and really, I'm coming in. Although it doesn't look like we're going to get anything. They might have a ward up here as well. Or maybe I didn't wait long enough. Either or. That's fine. Giving my bot lane some priority, making sure that they can farm fine. Um, she's a little bit far behind on farm, but she's a kill up, two assists up. You know, I'm, I'm not too worried about them. Uh, Yorick's doing very well. Well, the KO's actually doing really well to keep up on farm. She's got her range now. Um, but yeah, we'll 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 keep farming. We'll move our way up, see if we can get this Kale. Um, Twitch is doing some counter jungling, which is quite nice. It's nice for now, actually. You will see later in this game that this game is really hard to close out. Um, because oh, oh, we'll explain it when we get there. But he does move up. We have to drop our Herald there. Um, as it was about to run out. But the Twitch does get a good E off. And what we can do is we can potentially try and get this tower before the Herald gets up here. And save it a little bit of HP. Uh, I think what happens actually is we don't manage to quite get it in time. Which is really sad. Yeah, even with even with Yorick's demolish proc. Uh, but what we can do is we can just run this into the next tower now. Um, and with Yorick's pushing power as well, we could potentially get the whole tower here. I think, in fact, we do end up getting the whole tower here, which is really nice. Um, something I haven't considered at this point is we're playing against the Fiddlesticks. And we currently have no vision here. Um, so you always, always remember who you're up against. See if we can get another charge here. The Azir is here. He does get... A, his ult off, we flash onto him, we get the knock up the Fiddlesticks does come over and we do get shut down which is really unfortunate really good flash from Yorick um, good speed up from something I'm not sure what that is and he actually looks like he's going to get out which is insane, Twitch you'll see a lot of this from the Twitch just AFK farming in just yeah yeah. you know, every now and again you, you get teammates like that that's fine um so here, I'm just going to be thinking about what I want to do when I come out of base. It looks like our blue buff's about to come out, so we'll probably head up there. Head up. Yep. So our macro tunnel. That's perfect. What's this on cooldown? Coming out of base. Really setting that up. That'd be nice. And, yeah. Moving to the, the clear the top side. Super good. So, yeah. Um... World's group stages are finally finished. Um, I, there's still a couple of games I need to catch up on, but I'm super excited for knockouts. Just as soon as it gets to knockouts, as soon as it gets to those those best of best of three games, it just 
it just gets so chaotic. You know, you don't really know what's going to happen, and it's just so much fun. Let me know if you're watching it down in the comments. Let me know who your favorite team is. Let me know who you're supporting, and well, potentially we can. Well, you know what? Maybe we can do like a a stream of some sort. You know, like a watch along, because that'd be nice if if a few um, supporters of worlds would like to get together. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do that as well, because that could be quite fun. Potentially play a few games. So here we'll just get the Herald again. We had a really good push from the first one. Um, what I'm tempted to do here is give this to the Yorick. No, maybe not. I think he'd give that to the Yorick. It could be really good because then he can just go off and split push and potentially just end the game. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have done that, knowing how this game goes. But the Azir here is very pushed up. Let's see what we can do about it. Can't quite see him here. Ah, he moved straight down. I think he must have just caught vision of me. Uh, they do start dragon. Um, and I do want to do something about this. I don't want to give this to them for free. If you do start contesting, they have taken a little bit of damage. My bot lane's rotating up as well. Twitch, again, is just nowhere to be seen. Uh, the Nami gets hit by the um, Thresh, which is really unfortunate. Ezreal's ult comes out. We do smite the dragon away. And what we look to do here is start to disengage. Really nice, really nice ult from the MF. Uh, forcing a disengage from them. I am just waiting here to see if I can get some poke off. Um, the Twitch is here now, so I want to see if I can get some uh, engage. The Kale does look like... Yeah, so we ult this. We get that. Oh, we don't quite, don't quite get it. Um, but they do engage in us from behind. The MF does get the fiddlesticks and the Twitch does get... The, yeah, so really nice turn here. Really nice turn. We just stay a little bit far back. We don't have ult now. Uh, we are about half health, so we do just need to be careful. Here, drop Herald. Perfect. So you can see this. This is looking like a stomp. Um, just from some macro decisions um, towards the end of the game, just being that it just delays it. And, you know, we're just starting out on, on Rexite here, so we do need to figure out a best way to sort of lead our team to victory if we do have leads like these. Um, so here we do get an early inhibitor. I think I made the decision here to stay and just to see if we can get another charge off the, sh the Shelly because we are doing very well and I do think that we can win. But it does actually end up being a detriment to us. Here we want to start backing out um, because you know, they're close to their base. Um, you can see I'm all the way over here because I know I've done this so many times. We, we start to turn because we think, oh yeah, no, we're doing quite well. But they've got the fountain there, so they've got infinite healing um, and fast respawn. Um, so I, I know how it goes, and, and obviously they don't. So unfortunately they do die. If I'd stayed, I'd have died as well. Uh, it does look like the Nami's going to get away, though. And here, so I'm falling for my own fallacy here. It does look like they do get the fiddlesticks, which is really good. Uh, again, I still don't have ult. Oh, no, I do have ult up now. So it could potentially. Kale is... Ooh, okay, so we do see the Thresh. It's dangerous. A th like, a, a hook champ against a Rek'Sai is quite dangerous because a lot of the time you don't see the wind-up. Um, you know, I think there, there's a good example of this late game where I just get Thresh hooked out of nowhere. Thresh standing still uh, obviously has eyes on me. I can't see him because I'm borrowed and I just get caught out. Um, it made me jump, actually, I think, whilst we are playing. So here, they are sieging mid lane. I just, I don't want to get them to get this tower. We've got, oh, I thought we had our Yorick in top. Obviously, he's just backed. So just hovering here. Want to make sure if, see if anyone's gone up this way. <coughs> I could have potentially jumped on them, but if not, we'll back and we'll just spend our gold. And there, perfect. We'll get that um, um, Edge of Night here. So that we can avoid the initial CC. The initial CC from Thresh or the initial CC from... Um, what's his name? Fiddlesticks. Um, either or could be really good. And my team get triple killed in the mid lane. Because we've just backed... Yeah, see, it's just the macro decisions of this game you can see aren't, aren't the best. Uh, not necessarily from us. I think I think we've been playing quite well. Um, I think our bot lane and our... Especially our mid lane, actually. Um... I don't know, he, 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 he likes the look of the number of his CS rather than, you know, the look of their Nexus, which is really unfortunate. But we do defend this tower with the Yorick's help.
and that's me asking for people to go into the bot lane. I was asking for Nami to go into the bot lane as well. I want Yorick to be on the split push on his own. Um, we've No one needs to be mid lane at the moment, right? Because we've got super minions here, right? So if we push this out a little bit more, obviously it's a little bit harder with these two. And then we want the Yorick to be in this lane on his own and the other four of us to be in this lane. Or maybe the other way around. Um, so that the Yorick, yeah, if we have the Yorick in bot lane, the Yorick should be pushing this tower and getting that for free, whilst the other four of us are here pressuring here and just really splitting them up. You know, because at the moment we're just allowing them to sit the same. Even the Yorick's just sitting in, in mid lane now, which is really, really unfortunate. So I go here. I just want to get this tower. Um, really just deny them extra map pressure. I do take a lot of damage and I do... I still have the tu tunnel, so I do manage to get out here. But I really just wanted to confirm that. And you see, look, up here. Twitch. Oh, no, it's the Yorick. Twitch, just no, just keep pushing. You see what I mean? He, If he kept pushing this wave into here, he could have got this tower with the pressure that we're adding. Um, and us in bot lane, you know, I don't know what the KL thinks she's doing, but she did. So, yeah, just a few iffy macro decisions in this game mean that it does last a little bit longer than it needs to be. But you can see our mid lane wave now is in their base. So we do have, yeah, I see, Yorick should not be here. And we get the red buff. Burn. Finish off our treasure hunter. Just get that gold spike. And here we'll just move back to dragon. Uh, Yorick should keep pushing. The MF the MF should come with me. Yorick should keep pushing. Get this tower. And we just get the dragon for free. In fact, I reckon even um, MF could have stayed. Uh, we can see the fiddler sticks in top. And I'm, I'm not really scared of anyone else. Maybe the Azir at this point. Um... And then we know that the Chaos just died, so she's just respawned as well. But we do manage to get this. So three dragons up. Dragon isn't isn't the win con of Rek'Sai. Um, you know, if if you get both heralds, and you know, you can see what we did with both heralds, right? Um, if well, both heralds and good macro will just instantly win you a game with Rek'Sai. Um, so what I really like about about the champion. So here we're back. Uh, we'll get our team to disengage a little bit. We'll get our tier 2 boots. Tier 2 boots you can get after your second item. You know, it's, it's not necessary. Um, early game on Rek'Sai at all. Uh, and we'll start... Well, interestingly here, it looks like we're going towards a Death Dance. I think we pivot into a more of Malmordius here. Um, because obviously they've got the Kale, who's magic damage. They've got the... Um, Fiddlesticks is magic damage, and they've also got the Azir. All, all really, really big magic damage champions, so more than happy to do that. Twitch here has got a good, well, I'd say a good split push. Yeah, as long as they back out now, that's fine, because we don't know where anyone is. Uh, Yorick should keep pushing bot lane. They do have this inhibitor up now, uh, as the Azir has got the extra turret, but that looks like it's about to go down quite quickly. I'm just waiting here. I'm expecting some people to come to the Yorick. Uh, and I just want to see them on their tremor sense, and then we can engage on them. Um, it looks like they are prioritizing probably the lanes that they should, mid and top, um, as they're the, the two lanes that are most pushed in. But if I can, if I can get a pick on someone who's trying to get a pick on the Yorick, that would be brilliant. Um, so we can see that three people are up here. I think we just saw, and Kale's down here. So we we know. Uh, uh, I was going to say the Kale doesn't have ultimate, but she must have it back quite quickly now. So here, K waiting for the Kale to push out a little bit. Tunnel under the wall. Potentially use Flash. Uh, definitely use Crowder's Claw if necessary. And we'll see if we can get this kill. Here we go. Crowder's Claw. She's in the cage. She will ult at some point. Oh, no. Didn't even get that off. But perfect. That's exactly what we want. And then we can do is we can get this tower. Uh, I'll scout this out to see if anyone's coming. I know that people are coming. And at this point, this frees our mid lane up to... No! See, this is what I mean. Why are they moving down? They don't move down. We back out. You get this, right? It's it's so it's so simple, but this this is why this game is lasting so long. And, and Twitch here, of course, doesn't really care. I think what he does now, even, is he moves into my jungle and just starts taking that farm. Yeah, which is just the least helpful thing he could be doing. So again, we're waiting. We just want to get a, a pick on someone. That's what we do as Rek'Sai. Just assassinate someone. Um, but we don't find anyone at the moment. Uh, see if we can get the Azir here. 
button. We know he's up there. We know he's moving up. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, he's he's staying. Ooh. I think we could have gone there. I think it's because we don't know who it is. So here we get the Thresh. Whilst the Yorick's fighting these two in bot lane. So we do, I believe, manage to get the Thresh here. But I believe that they do manage to get the Yorick. Ah, oh, yeah, that is gutting. And he does get shut down as well. Um, so here, these guys just need to push this in. Uh, in fact, they probably should have just gone for Inhib and gone for this tower here. Uh, they do manage to run away from the Fiddlesticks, so that's just good. Get his ult out. We proxy the wave from the Chaos so that she can't push into our tower. And we'll start moving up. So here, someone someone should be up here getting this tower. That's a free tower. Although these areas there now, so maybe, not. maybe it wasn't as free as I thought. See me just going straight straight for the um Oh god. Okay, that's fine. Going straight for the inhib. We do back out because the kale turns up and the Ezreal is there as well. I think we could engage that, you know. Uh that was a fiddlesticks effigy effigy there. So we don't we know that Ezreal's there somewhere. He's obviously seen me. He can see me on the minions. Push that wave in. Thresh is there now, so we do want to back out move around my team, see if I can get a pick with them rather than on my own. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely starting something. We flash, we could potentially get this kill. No, okay. Uh, that's not worth at all. Um, we had to flash for that. We didn't get anything from it and he can just run back to base and it's, it's fine. So me just pinging the bot side, just begging my team to try and get some objectives here rather than just dead braining it down mid, which isn't doing anything at the moment. So I'm, I'm really asking them to, to go here and help with this. And I could just get the dragon on my own. We can get soul. And we could potentially end this game. But, you know, the MF's on her way. The Nami's here as well. I just, I don't need them. <laughs> go, please. Go, please get an objective. Uh, and even worse, this Twitch is just taking red buff as a AP. I don't know. It does help him with the slows a little bit. We do keep our smite there. Uh, no one's around. And um, it'll be much better used on other champions. To hit. Ooh. Yeah. So we do get, you know, crapped on a little bit there. Very sad. Um, we didn't have flash, obviously, because we made that really aggressive play earlier. But our team do manage to sweep up a little bit. Yorick, well done for pushing that wave in. Um, and these guys are just t chasing down kills at the moment. I mean, at least... Yeah, I mean, that was the red buff that got that kill, to be fair. So, good on Twitch. So here, I've asked for my, my um, yeah, see see here, there's no need to be here. Move up here, try and get this, whilst the Yorick tries to get this. Yeah? Makes sense? You know, we're, we're, then we've got constant pressure over all of the turrets, right? But it's just not happening. Yorick playing very nicely. We have just respawned, so we are on our way. Yorick, ah, oh, disgusting champ. I love him. Weird, weird and wonderful design champ. Uh, we are on our way over. We potentially go past the Baron to see if my team wants to do that as well. We don't need it. Um, well, here's the thing. We don't need it, right? But with the way my team's playing, they probably do need it, right? Um, you know, just to give them that mindset of, oh, we've got Baron. Let's push. Let's push. Get objectives end game. Um, and that does work as well. Don't, don't try and force it by any means. Um... But if you um, if you do find your teammates doing this, Baron Baron is potentially a good idea. Um, oh man, I feel very under leveled for this point in the game. Like we haven't, no, we haven't been farming a lot. That's fine. Uh, no one really has because it's just been one big combat, which is loads of fun. I love games like this, to be honest. Um, as long as you know Twitch isn't over here just taking farm for no reason. Um, but yeah, no, really, really good case study into Rek'Sai. Also, it does highlight that she does drop off. You know, laning phase is brilliant for her because you know where people are going to be. You know sort of their, their main patterns. And she is quite a good team fighter as well. But laning phase, you know, she her ult is very good because she can tower dive, she can take aggro, she can go on targetable uh, and damage share on that turret. Uh, she has those really, really unique... Um... um Ganking positions as well, you know, no one else can gank from the positions that she does um, with just a normal ability. You know, Warwick potentially could. Um, the 
Pillar 6 also potentially could, but only with their ultimates. Um, so here, the Pillar of Sticks goes a bit ham. We do have more of Malmordius now. We we don't manage to get the kill, actually. We do manage to do a lot of damage um, and just disengage here. We do have Winions uh, currently, so the longer we keep them here, the better. Uh, Twitch does go down, you know. I don't know what he was farming for for so long if, if he's just going to go out and die. Uh, here, I just want to go and push this, to be honest. We do see the Azir here. Um, Yorick will get this. I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure. As long as I don't get hit by some CC. That's what I mean. That's what I was talking about earlier. A stray hook from nowhere. Um, we'll see if we can get this Ezreal here. I don't know if we will. Potentially with the Yorick's help. <clears throat> yeah, so we get a good knock up. And the Yorick manages to land the E, which means that all of his minions attack. Um... Yeah, Yorick. Yorick MVP of this game. You know, we we played very well early, um, but, you know, he pretty much did this for himself. We got the kill. We did go up and help get the KL a couple of times, which is really helpful. Fortunately, he does go down there. And this game will drag on for a little bit longer. But anyway, we've got 20, 20 seconds till we're up. We'll, uh, we'll move back on. Okay, so here we go. We finally decided to usher my team over to the Baron. Getting that. They are getting it incredibly quickly, actually, so it probably is worth doing anyway, even if it's just to deny the enemy team. Um, but you see here, we've got 11,000 gold lead. Like, we should have won this game ages ago. But get the Baron. We'll give them that mindset of let's end the game. We have more of Malmordius uh, up. We also have Executioner's Calling to get rid of some of their healing. Um, we run into a few too many of them there and back out. That's fine. Uh, they get a pick on the Ezreal, you know. This will end up being game. Um, with the Baron buff, there's there's not a whole lot we can do. We push this out. We can even take this slow now if we want to. You know, we're, we're in no rush to end this game now. Um, considering we've given it so long. No no reason to turret dive since we've got Baron. Wait for our minions and just slow push this. Interesting Nami I don't know if she was trying to hit someone else there. Um, Twitch getting a good drop on someone. Uh, we do... Get his Zid altered into the tower, have to flash away. So we want to get our rage up and then go and borrow here just so that we can. Oh, I ult there, but he does go down fast enough. We do Prowler's Claw onto the Kale, get the knock up. She flashes onto us. We've got the more of Malmordius, so we stay alive. Beautiful. And that will be game. Me and Nami up alive. Oh, hang on. We do have an Ezreal here. Oh, no. Is this not the end of the game? This must be the end of the game. No. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not too I'm not too unhappy with that. Um, cuz it is just a brawl fest and it is a lot of fun, you know, especially since we are quite far ahead. Um, here we'll obviously just you know, it, I think we probably go for the um Elder Dragon here as well, just give us that, you know, doubling our our combat power really you know mf's up twitch's up we'll get this started they can't do anything because they're in base trying to sort this mess out you know we could potentially end here um could we four of them up kill's about to be up we probably couldn't have ended you know so we will get this as something to do and then you know all five of us will just run and end um yorick's up now he's just tp'ing to the ward behind us and you know what this as, as much as it has been quite a long game and some poor macro decisions from some teammates we do end up getting every single objective right they haven't got a single one of our towers look we've got all of our tier ones on pretty good health we got both um is he going down yep we got both rift heralds we got all four dragons we got elder dragon and we got baron you know like we just as Rek'Sai, we did insane here. And as they're trying to get kills, I'm just ending this game. I am not having any of it. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this game, please drop me a like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, I hope you've had fun with Rek'Sai. We'll be playing her a lot more uh, in future games. And I'll see you guys in the next one.